Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes of Vegas. Today featuring 15 Minutes of the Cosmopolitan. Guys, this is one of the fanciest hotels in Vegas. It's also one of my favorite places to hit the slots at because they have just about everything you can think of. And how can you go wrong when right at the front entrance is a Starbucks, which I know is open pretty late. So let's go check out guys, the Cosmopolitan. So I will say that their parking area entrance over here is one of the fanciest ones in Vegas. They have a nice Cosmo sign. It's like glittery looking. So it is pretty fancy. So if you're staying here at Cosmo, this will be where you'll come in to do self park. Valet, taxi are all here as well. Okay. So if you're parking at Cosmo, this is the entrance that you're going to come into. Back here. All right, guys, they also have a really pretty lobby here at Cosmo. So we're gonna walk through and show you guys this. So really busy, obviously, very popular hotel. They are now part of MGM, but they have not yet switched to the MGM Rewards. So as you guys can see, the pillars in here change their video screens. Okay, so right across from the check-in desk is the Chelsea Tower. They do seem to have their elevator banks in different areas throughout the hotel, but this is one of them. So if you're in the Chelsea Tower, really fast and easy from check-in desk. So let's go check some more things out here little bar back here guys if you after you check in want to start getting your party on okay so here's your parking elevators guys so if you do take if you do park here this is where you're gonna come in all right so I think Cosmo has one of the biggest casinos at least best, it, game. best games guys that we sometimes do really well here sometimes we don't but they've got old school games like National Lampoon's Vacation, the Flintstones, and they have all the new things. A little gifty shop, just in case you need an avocado stuffy. You can get it here. Okay, so definitely check out Cosmopolitan to play. We always try to come play at least once on our trips. Now, once they become MGM Rewards, then we'll come even more. They don't seem to be in a hurry to do. No, they don't. So here's another little bar. Click. Okay, so plenty of table games. If you got to do high limit slots, there they are over there. Plenty of table games, guys. Lot to do here. You're not center strip, but you're close enough. Look at the fancy sparkly floors. Even are fancy. Okay. High limit table games over here. Okay. They even have Anchorman here, one of our faves. Stay classy. Stay classy. Oh, let's go to the right. Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Got Anchorman over here. Here is the identity membership and rewards desk. Hopefully soon it'll change to MGM Rewards. They also have the best smelling restrooms in Vegas. They put something in there that just smells really good. I know that's an odd thing to say, but it's true. Just make sure that you don't, guys, don't go into the women's bathroom like that guy likes to do. You gotta go, you gotta go. Okay, so, and of course the famous chandelier. Let's go to the left, I think. Here. You can ride the different elevators, more table games. They have a lot of lounge areas here. You can just sit at. That's kind of nice. Party, 
It is a party hotel. It is always busy in here, but it's also a lot of fun. No, yeah, that would be crazy. Yes, definitely a lot of fun. Fancy. Yes, so let's go look at the barber shop. This is kind of a cool feature here. Yeah, we got some nightclub in. <laughs> so the Henry. So this must be a little cafe place. Okay, so you've got the barber shop here. So there actually you can get a haircut here, but it also has a nightclub as well. So kind of cool little spot. Just a lot to see here, a lot of fun. Um, right? Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. You're right next door to Bellagio. So you can easily get to Bellagio. The OPM show. The OPM show. Okay, so there's your front door, guys. There's your Starbucks. And there is a great sports book here. It's pretty huge. Right up front. So there is four floors, guys. We're on the first floor. We're going to go now up to the second floor. Food court time. Actually, that guy, I call it... I don't even know what I call things anymore. I call it a foodie court, guys, when it's not that normal Johnny Rocket, you know, Nathan's type place where it's a little bit fancier. A lot of fun decorations. Got some little hat lights up here. Kind of has like a little, it has a um, Alice in Wonderland theme going on in this area to the left here. There are some different stores up here. If you're a shoppy, you like to shop. Now if you go, if you keep going down this way, guys, there's the bridge to the crystal shops at Aria. So you're really close to Aria here. Different stores. Momofuku. Okay, you just say the name. I'll let you handle that one. That's milk. <laughs> the juice standard. We've eaten at a few places here, and you guys can kind of see over here. A little fun little area just to sit. It's kind of got that Alice in Wonderland theme going. Yeah. Yeah. So egg slut. We've been there once. It was decent. Um, it wasn't like oh my gosh, I have to have one every time, but it was decent. And more of this area. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So over here, guys, is. One of the entrances to the chandelier bar. Beautiful area to sit. Maybe have a cocktail before you start your night or one before you end your night. Holsteins. So shakes and buns. Marquee nightclub and day club. Yep, there's their nightclub and day club. Okay, so this is called Block 16 over here. We got uh... Was it Bang Bar by Mama Puka? Yeah, Bang Bar, Mama Puka. Patty B's, guys. Patty B's is always good. We got the district over here. Yeah. We're going to go a little farther this time. This is the one we want to try. Yeah, this is the one we want to try, guys. It's noodles and tacos. And they have takeout. So if you've eaten here before, let us know what you thought of it. They've got... Tekka bar. So some sushi rolls. A shop over here. Let me go back here for a second because we never got the Um, Lardo, right? Is that how you say it? Oh, I said it right. Hot sandwiches. Okay, they're bringing. Oh, I'm doing this as well on this trip. I'm bringing fat back because I'm like, not on my diet right now. Yeah, let's walk back this way. Okay, so this is. Super freaka. Yeah. Yeah, all your boardrooms, conference rooms. I just want to walk back. Yeah, we've never actually walked back here. Yeah. Yeah, we got some classic photos over here. I'm not sure what this statue is. It's kind of freaking me out, guys. What is this statue? It looks like a bunny. 
looks like a bunny. And look at it, look at the bunny. Okay, okay, look. Look, the bunny has dimples. Boop. Yeah, what's the title? Because I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can block this out, but for some reason, he got junk. Okay, guys, if you know what this what this is about, because, you know, we got the donkey, we got half man, half dog. Well, and she got boobies. The bunny's got boobies. I don't know what's going on with this one. It's different. It's, I don't get it, but... Oh, no, that's Frankie. That's cool. Wow, it's just like, I never knew all this was up here, guys. Your experience is... Okay, so... But... He's freaking out, guys. He's a dog. So I'm assuming this is like a Condessa Commons meeting room. Restrooms, dogs. So we could probably go up one more floor right here to get to see pizza. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna see this. You can get to the Chelsea Pool from here, the Chelsea Tower from here. What the hell is this? Wow, you guys, there's just some, I didn't know, honestly, that there was all these kind of cool things. So here, guys, Chelsea Tower. So if you're staying in Chelsea Tower and you wanna to come to the Wicked Spoon, you can just take your elevator there. There's just weird. That's that guy's car. Okay, so here's this. Oh, look, guys. It's an old. It's supposed to look like an old time cigarette machine. Except it's got art. It's got art. It's opium. So if you're seeing the show, it's back here. There's the Wicked Spoon buffet. Heard it's really good. The Wicked Spoon after 11 o'clock is 48.77, and that is with taxes. So you're you're looking for you know the breakfast, lunch. You're gonna pay about 50 bucks a person. Of course, dinner is always gonna be more expensive. So let us know, guys, if you've eaten at the Wicked Spoon. Let us know if it's worth the price. That guy is not a big buffet person because he doesn't. Yeah, he just doesn't eat that much. Oh yeah, they've got the Boulevard Pool on level three. Yeah, so definitely we, you know, we're going to at some point, guys, stay here. We're just kind of waiting for them to switch their rewards program to MGM because MGM did buy the Cosmopolitan last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. We were hoping at the beginning of this year they would switch their rewards, but they haven't. So once they do that... And when you ask them, they have no idea. They have no idea. So now this is an adventure, guys. Oh, Aria tram shot. What? These are all the different ballrooms up here, convention rooms. So if you get lucky enough to come to Cosmo for work, for a convention, you're lucky. Okay, and then, oh, the boulevard pool the entrance is over here. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so guys, yeah. All right, so right over here, guys, is Aria. So you guys can see all oh, the crystal shops at Aria. And there's Aria right there. But if you are staying at Aria, it is a short walk. All right, so this is kind of, we are just exploring with you guys today. One of our favorite, well, our favorite pizza place in Vegas. When you come to Secret Pizza, guys, make sure you get the extra garlic put on it, garlic sauce. Oh, cool, I'm gonna walk in here. All right, so as you guys can see, there's no sign out here. There is nothing to tell you that this is where Secret Pizza is. You just got to come up to the third floor, right? Yeah. And we've got a lot of cool artwork up here as you're walking through. So hence Secret Pizza, you got to look for it. But I will tell you, best pizza in Vegas, I think, that's on the Strip. So just a little place. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yep. Other restaurants up here, guys. Haleo. Okay. Yep. And then upstairs is the Overlook Grill and the Boulevard Pool. So you have to check in to get up there. And let's, I guess, head back down that guy. Okay. So here we got that food court again, guys. Caddy bees. 
is over there. Nummy, 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 nummy. All right, you guys. So there you have it. 15 minutes of Vegas featuring 15 minutes of the Cosmopolitan. Definitely one of the coolest hotels in Vegas. One of my favorite places to play at. So make sure if you're here, you come check it out. Until then guys, go watch some of my other videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see more of our crazy Vegas adventures. Hit that notification button. Hit that like button. Give me some comments. And we will see you guys next time on the Vegas Strip. Bye.